At Unison, we take your safety very seriously. As part of keeping you safe, it is important that we remind everyone on our network about the dangers of working with and around electricity. Every year, a number of close calls are reported to Unison, where machinery and trees come into contact with our power lines and underground cables. These incidents can cause serious injury or even death, but would not happen if people followed five important rules, rules that are in place for your safety and the safety of others. Whether you're a professional electrician, a non-electrical contractor, a farmer, or even a member of the public, everyone needs to be aware that electricity kills. We ask that you take the time to watch this video and remember the next 10 minutes has the power to save your life at work and at home. Unison's network in Hawke's Bay, which includes Central Hawke's Bay under a management contract with Central Lines, Taupo and Rotorua, has more than 10,700 kilometres of power lines across 15,800 square kilometres of rural, industrial and commercial land, connecting 116,000 households and businesses. Power is distributed from the national grid to transmission substations along overhead and underground lines. These types of power lines are all over the network regions. In orchards, across farms, along industrial and commercial areas, through your central business districts, to schools and sports and playgrounds, down the street to your home and implement shed. The types of power lines across your region range from 33 kV to the substation to 11 kV to the distribution transformers, to 400 and 230 volts for household connections through the green distribution boxes and black and green pedestals at your boundary. When working around power lines and underground cables, we ask that you give electricity the respect it deserves and always treat it as live. Electricity is always looking for the easiest path to earth and if you get in the way, electricity will go through you or your machinery. Close approach is an industry term used in protecting you against the danger zone. Because of the nature of electricity, we have close approach rules to protect you from becoming a path to earth. You must contact Unison first if you plan to work within 4 metres of power lines, if you plan to dig within 5 metres of a power pole or power box, before you trim or fell trees near power lines. Need to locate underground electric power cables? Have concerns with power lines, power cables or power boxes in your work area? You don't have to come into contact with an electrical cable to be electrocuted. An electric current can arc as it jumps across an air gap to create a path to earth. It can jump from an overhead line to a tree, a metal object or to you and the higher the voltage, the bigger the jump. Conductors are objects that electricity can pass through, including people, animals, metal, water and soil. An insulating material such as rubber prevents electrical leakage. That's why we work with gloves and protective boots. A broken overhead line at direct contact has the full power of its voltage and even when it is touching the ground, it can cause a ripple effect through the ground which could extend for 8 metres. The immediate danger here is called step potential. If you step into the pool of electricity, the electrical current can travel through you from point A to point B, giving you an electric shock, which could be fatal. And if you touch a broken line while standing on the ground, you will become the path to earth. So what happens between electricity and the body? The damage depends on the current, how it enters and exits, the time it is in the body, the condition of the skin and what a person is wearing. An electrical shock of 0.05 amps has the power to kill you and to put that in perspective, most household power points output between 10 and 20 amps. Electric shocks cause serious burns both inside your body and on the outside. It can damage your internal organs, cause your heart to go into cardiac arrest and flash burns in your eyes. Or it can kill you. There are serious consequences and penalties for not following the rules and you could also face court charges and fines. The consequences of damaging power lines and electricity assets are expensive. You or your company or employer will have to pay the cost of repairs and any loss of income caused by power outages. All incidents are reported to the Department of Labour. Meet Jason King. He's a local contractor who has a few projects underway. He's been employed to remetal a driveway that runs under power lines. Jason gets to work. 
but he's not following the rules, as he's planning to work within four metres of power lines. Contractors must call Unison first. Here's Jason again. He's putting in new irrigation and needs to dig a trench that will go under power lines on the property. So he gets to work. But again, he's not following the rules, as he's planning to dig within five metres of a power pole. Contractors must call Unison first, so Jason calls Unison. Unison's control room places the job with a faultman, who is responsible for issuing a close approach consent for electrical work. For every close approach consent, a Unison faultman will visit a contractor on site to see where the contractor is planning to work. After inspecting the area, he will issue a close approach consent that will allow Jason to start work. The close approach consent will detail the requirements to manage the potential hazards when working around power lines. Jason is now on to his next job. He wants to trim trees that are getting too close to power lines, but he isn't following the rules. Contractors must call Unison first. So Jason calls Unison. Unison control room, Paul speaking. Oh yes, you've got a tree problem? OK, well what we'll do is we'll get a faultman out there as soon as we can to have a look at that for you. Please remember that when trimming or felling trees within four metres of power lines, you must employ a professional. Do not do it yourself. Unison Contracting has an experienced vegetation crew now working on Jason's side. Jason is on the job again. This time he wants to dig into the grass verge outside a driveway, where he's planning to connect new plumbing into the city sewer. He's ready to start work, but where are the power lines? Jason must call Unison first, so he calls Unison and is put through to Unison's cable locator who has information on hand. Unison's cable locator will visit the site and mark out where not to dig. Please remember you'll also need to locate all other infrastructure, such as water, waste, phone and gas lines. Now that Jason knows where not to dig, he's keen to get to work. He knows to call Unison first for a close approach consent, as he is not authorised to work in this area. Again, a Unison Faultman will visit the site to inspect the work Jason is planning to do and issue a close approach consent. Jason is now working as a subby on a footpath reconstruction. With all his latest projects and help from Unison, he's a very switched on subcontractor and lets his boss know that he's concerned about power lines in the area. You must call Unison first if you have concerns about power lines in your work area. Again, a Unison Faultman will visit the site to inspect the work and issue a close approach consent. Roger Martin knows how important it is to follow the rules. Two of his employees were seriously injured while they were carrying out a roofing job after the material they were using came into contact with power lines. And during the process of building here, we had staff working loading materials onto the roof and working on the walls. And as you can see the close proximity to the power lines, some of the materials came in contact with the power lines and caused some very serious in injuries through electrocution. The majority of the power went through their bodies and out through their feet and a large amount of the um, damage was done to their feet and hands and they're still getting skin grafts. It has a long term impact on the workplace. Um, several of our employees had counselling for a period of time to work through it and it is still affecting um, a number of the staff up to today. Well we've learnt that we look after every little detail and we've found that it's only a matter of moments in attention that can create a disaster on a work site. You, you couldn't have even dreamt that they would have survived it. Thanks for taking the time to watch our safety video. We hope you have found it informative. And please remember the five rules. Call Unison first if you plan on working within four metres of power lines. Plan on digging within five metres of a power pole or power box. Before you trim or fell trees near power lines. If you need to locate an underground power cable, or if you have any concerns with power lines, power cables or power boxes in your work area, because you have the power to save your life and those of your colleagues, your friends and your family.